Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through these topics, squares and square roots. And uh, for this lesson, we are going to look at square roots of uh, numbers by prime factorization method. In the previous lesson, we looked at the square roots of uh, whole numbers by the same method of prime factorization. So in this uh, lesson, we going to see how we, you can find the square roots of decimal numbers by the same method of prime, prime factorization and uh, of course we have a few sample questions on square roots by prime factorization method that will basically help us to illustrate on how that can be done as mentioned of course at the end of the lesson we'll give you some assignment just to help you practice, you know, just to help you gauge on your understanding of this concept as discussed during this lesson. So we have our first example here, you know, 0 0.64. Remember the root that the sign that you used for used for roots, it's as displayed on the screen. So the question is, evaluate the following by prime factorization method. So how do you go about it? So what you will do, so what you do is, you first of all, change this number into a fraction with a denominator being a power of 10. For example, this is going to be 64. So this will be 64 divided by 100. So we have 64 divided by 100. So we are trying to find the square root of that number. So what you will do is you will try to express both 64 and 100 as a product of their prime factors in power form. If again you don't know how to change the decimal numbers to fractions with the denominators being powers of 10 you can also check from our previous videos we've done videos on the same that can also help guide you through as you try to do that so i'll use factor tree method so i have i'll start with 64 here so 64 we have 2 here going there 32 times we have 2 16 times 2, 8, 2, 4, and finally 2, 2, 2. So these are the prime factors. So uh, 64 is going to be expressed. We'll express it as a product of those numbers that I've circled. Let me try 100 here. Again, 2 goes there 50 times. 2, 25, and uh, 5. Five times. So these are the prime factors. You just express 100 as a product of all that. Then now we have the square root of 0 0.64. So this is going to be the square root of 64 divided by 100 as we had indicated there. So 64 again expressed as a product of its prime factors in power form. It is going to be the square root of 2 power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that is going to be 2 power 6 divided by 100 again expressed as a product of its prime factors in power form. That is going to be 2 power 2. You can see 2 multiplied by 2 there. And then multiplied by 5 power 2. So as we said now, you are just going to divide the powers by 2. So we have 2 power 3 up there. And down here we have 2 power 1 times 3 power 5 power 1. So we divided this here by 2 and the other one by 2 and this by 2. So what we have now is uh, 8 over, over 10 here. So you see 8 over 10. This is going to be 0 0.8. So it means the square root of 0 
is 0 0.8. This is the number that we need to square to arrive at 0 0.6 for 0 0.8. Because now 8 over 10. Of course, you can even leave your answer as a fraction in, this, in its simplest form, like 4 over 5. But then you can still decide to convert it back to decimal so that you end up with 0 0.8. But if you have some other example here, you'll do the same thing. So this is going to be 441 divided by 100 again. So we have to express 441 as a product of its prime factors in power form, and again 100 as a product of its prime factors in power form. So we have uh, 441. For one, we have three, one, four, seven. Again, we have three, three here, going there, four, seven. Then now we have nine, uh, seven, going in 40, 40, actually, this here is actually nine. The three goes into 14. Four because of 12, the remainder is 2. 27, 3 goes into 7, 9 times. Then 7 goes into 49, 7 times. So again, we have 100. Do it here. We have 100 again. So we have uh, 2 going there 50 times. 2 dividing 50, 25 times. 5 dividing 25, 5 times. These are the prime factors. We are just going to express 100 as a product of this, this prime factors here, these ones here. So now, in finding the square root of this number, so we have now the square root of 4.41 should be equal to the square root of 441 divided by 100, which is equal to the square root of, now oh, we have 3. By 3 which is 3 power 2 then we have 7 by 7 which is again 7 power 2 then we are dividing by so 2 by 2 which is 2 power 2 and 5 by 5 which is again 5 power 2 so what you're going to do here is just to divide the powers by by 2 so what we have is so this first two here you divide by two that is three power one. Again this two you divide by two that is seven power one. Again this is two power one. And this is five power power one. So what we have is once you divide the powers by two the root sign goes because the root sign means the integration of this root sign is that you're supposed to find the square root. So once you find the square root of the root sign the root sign disappears. So we now have 3 by 7 over 2 by 5, which is 21 over 10, and that is going to be 2.1 as the answer down there. So it means the number that we need to square to arrive at 4.41 uh, is 2.1. You see? Yes. If you don't know how you're getting 2.1, if you divide it by 10, the decimal point simply shifts to the left hand side. Number of steps that is equal to number of zeros. So this is where the decimal point is. We just move it one step. So that we are getting that 2.1 over there. Now the last one is this one here, 0 0.1764. So this is still. Uh, So we have uh, 1764 divided by 10,000. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to express both of them as a product of their prime factors in power form. And then, of course, you're going to divide the powers by 2. So what you do here, I'll try to use successive division now. So I have 1764. Let me use successive division here. So 2 here, 8. Again, 8, 2. 2 again, 4, 4, 1. 3 is uh, 1, uh, 4, 
seven, three again, four, nine, we have seven, going there seven times, and then we have seven. So you simply multiply these ones here. See, to get to, to express, you simply multiply the two by two by three by three by seven by seven to give you the number that you're looking for there, 1764. Then again, we have uh, 10,000. I'll try to use factor tree here. For two, 5,000. Two, two, five, zero, zero. Two, one, two, five, zero. Two, six, two, five. Five is one, two, five. Five again is twenty-five and five, five times and five divided by five is one. So you continue until when you have one down here. So that is what we have. So what remains now is to find the square root of, see now we are finding the square root of 0 0.1764 which is equals to the square root of 1764 divided by 10,000 so this is going to be the square root of uh, 1764 we have 2 power 2 3 power 2 and 7 power 2 10,000, we have 2 power 4, we have the numbers here.